Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Brother Brian, Love Has a Name YouTube channel. Thank you for coming on by. Today is Friday, May 26, 2023. And this prophetic word uh, is probably going to be a little bit late in uploading uh, due to Friday being a very, very popular uh, for YouTube uploaders and whatnot, YouTubers. Nonetheless, this is a prophetic word I'm very, very excited to bring you in particular because of the boldness, especially in the original video where Hank Kuhneman was delivering this word at a conference um, with Flashpoint. The Holy Spirit just hit and Hank Kuhneman began to prophesy and then there was a moment where he stopped and Gene Bailey was was uh, said something to the effect of there's more, there's more. And then all of a sudden the Lord hit again, which I thought was very, very cool how the Lord worked that out. Hopefully you have seen the original video. Um, and if not, well, at the very least, you'll get to hear me uh, recap it. So let's get ready to get started. I almost feel like saying let's get ready to rumble because it is exciting. Amen. And just like Manny says, these are glory days, not gloomy days. So let's pray and invite the Lord. Father, Lord, Jesus, wonderful Holy Spirit, we invite your, you, Father, and your angels to be with us, to be present as we get to hear this wonderful, powerful, bold word that you release through your servant, Hank. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor your servants, your mouthpieces, who stand on the front lines, yet they stand close to your heart, listening. And then they step out in faith and speak, and then deal with the foolish, the foolishness of those who do not understand or do not have self-control. I know you're going to bless and redeem and vindicate your prophets. Father, we bless them, and we bless those who in ignorance come against them. You will have your way. You will be glorified. And I thank you that we, your people, we, your remnant, we, your humble servants and lovers, will be on your side when it all ends. For you are the lover of our soul. We bow to you and you alone. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, come forth. Amen and amen. All right, this prophetic word is dated May 11th, 2023, and it was delivered by the Spirit of the Lord through Hank Kuhneman, prophet and pastor, on Flashpoint Live, Nashville, Tennessee. <clears throat> if you're on my uh, Telegram channel, the link is in the description below. If you want to join, do not look for me on Telegram. Click the link below. It's the only way to gain access. Amen. If you're on my Telegram, I shared the video, uh, that actual video, a few days after this aired. Uh, as soon as I saw it on YouTube, and I must have listened to it like eight or nine times. It was awesome. And this is what came forth. The Lord hits Hank Kuhneman and he says, Please do not say, Please do not say, Please do not say, I say this by the Spirit of God, Do not say, Nothing ever happens. Don't say that. You've insulted God. Because God has been speaking that this would happen. And the second thing, the power that you have in your words and faith in your mouth and through your mouth to release something that is God. You know what it is? The foundation of his very throne is righteousness and justice. If God does not do something, then he is really not a righteous and just God. He is waiting for us to release our faith and come into agreement with his righteousness and his justice so that vindication 
the vengeance of God, and great victory shall come to this nation. And so it will be, says the Spirit of God, that men have looked to the climate and they say, climate change, climate control. But, do not, but they do not understand the God of the times and the seasons and even the weather. For I speak now and I say, look closely, for there shall be extreme once again. You say, but God, you have said this before, but it is my season and not yours. I have declared you are in a season of a great fall. And when I spoke this, many said, oh, it shall surely come in the fall. And they looked to a time that could be calculated by the seasons of your very seasons. But I say, you are in the time of, in that time now of my season. It is a great fall. It is a fall of kingdoms. It is a fall of kings. It is a fall of leaders. It is a fall of corruption. It is a fall for even in the supreme yes even upon your supreme court for i have come now to judge the judges of the earth says the living god i will give you judges as at the first and there shall come shakings and as things become even more intense and there will be temperatures that will reach for a season in the hundreds and there will be as those it is 103. And you will say, what is this? And God will say, do you not know Psalm 103? Forget not my benefits. It will be 106 and 107. God says, do you not understand the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever? And then they will say, God, what is this about 105? And God says, do you know I led the people out with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble as I delivered a nation. And then they will say, what is this that has reached 118? And God says, it is a sign, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the Lord who comes to save. I have come to save this nation at this time. Oof. Pay attention, pay attention, because there will be things that will be shocking as I pull the masks, as I unlift the covers and I lift the veil. God says that, God says, the veil that I shall lift has been upon those who have been deceived, who have been led to believe contrary things at the hands of the prince of the power of the air that has used the media. But I say to you, listen now, there is a shaking that is coming to the forces of darkness and to the powers that would desire to rob, I'll say that, this nation. But it is mine, says the Lord, and I am not finished. Therefore, I will give a sign. You watch very closely, for there will be jockeying and shaking, even of those that are among the anchormen and those that represent the networks. God says they will be shaken, and some will even be removed, even as one called Tucker. But it's for the purpose of realigning, says the Lord. As one network shall be bought, and watch and pay closely to the one who will arise to pay for it. They will say, we hate this one, not this one, and they will be shaken. But God says, it is to release something that has been robbed from this generation, and it is the spirit of truth. I will bring my truth now to a whole nother level. 
So rejoice and watch and see as many shall be brought before you and the veil shall be removed and truth shall be revealed, says the living God. I don't need the networks. It's going to spread like fire. I will give another sign. And God says, there is that which they call the continental divide of this nation. And the enemy has sought to divide this continent, though another way, through division, chaos, and confusion. But the Spirit of God says, I have placed my hands upon one who I have not given up on that shall rise again. And I have said it before from the place of New York. But yet, God says, I shall also take something for the South. There ha has been that which they have tried to push their agenda by redefining what a man is and what a woman is. And yet in this land, in the coming months and coming years, I will raise up a cord of three strands in this nation by way of those who will lead you. And I will take my man and I will take a woman and I will take even another man and watch what I do to establish a cord of three strands that shall be given and granted heavenly authority which shall bring governmental law and order and will cause things to be placed back in order again. For they have tried to shove a, re a redefinition redef of a man and a woman, but yet I will give you an example. What does it look like when a man and a woman rises and stands with my authority, my anointing, and my power to bring a reform and a change that will cause your children and for you to rejoice. I will do it. Watch and pray for the next few months that are upon you. It is important that you do not agree with those who would want to pull you into a place of unbelief. But you must cause your words to say, God, forgive us. Forgive this nation, for the enemy has pressed for my hand to judge. Yet I am looking for my people to speak words of repentance and words of faith for me to act. And I say to you, for there was one in the days of number 25, who blatantly, when the men of Israel slept with the daughters of Moab, blatantly, when Moses called the people to repentance, took a woman and brought her into her tent and provoked me. But yet there was one who was also provoked, and it was Phinehas. And this is what I say to you, one that carries a jealousy, a spirit that has been provoked, and he thrust the spear through the back and through the stomach of men, of the man, rather, and the woman who were engaging, says the Spirit of God. It was because the zeal, the zeal consumed him, and this is what I require, as I bring an acceleration. If my people will be provoked to stand and to speak right and pray, you will see an acceleration and suddenlies that will begin to fall and you will rejoice because you will say, look what the Lord has done. Not what man has done, but what I have done, says the living God. Ooh, whoa, my God. If you thought that was fiery and passionate, how about you just comment a couple of fire emojis down in the description, uh, in the comments rather. 
my God. You know, I want to I want to mention this one part here specifically. Listen to what God said here in the middle. He said, as one network shall be bought and watch and pay, pay closely to the one who arises, who will arise to pay for it. For they, as in the wicked, they will say, we hate this one, not this one, and they will be shaken. Now, oh, then God says, it is to release something that has been robbed from this generation, and it is the spirit of truth. I will bring my truth now to a whole nother level. Now, I wonder how many of you caught this. When I read that, Joel, well, just now, obviously, when I heard it originally, the first thing I thought of is, that's confirmation to what another one of the major prophets has prophesied by the Spirit of God. Oh, thank you, Lord. And if if you also remember that, or perhaps you don't remember that, that's all right, because I do remember. In fact, I did release that word, and it was a long word by Amanda Grace, but it was a confirmation to that. Amen. So hopefully you will go back. In fact, I'm going to leave that um, video somewhere up here, uh, perhaps around the 16 and a half minute mark, which uh, should be in the next five seconds or so. I'll put that up there just in case you want to re-listen. Um, it was only about a sentence or two, okay? So I'm just being honest with that. The entire prophetic word was not about that, but the Lord touches on many topics. But listen to the Lord now. Just speak on another, a specific network that will be used by the Lord to bring his voice into the earth. Powerful. And now he brings forth a confirmation. Hallelujah. That is awesome. Whoa, my God. Well, I'm just going to let I'm going to let that word simmer. Oh, man, it might be a good thing to go back and listen to some of the other prophetic words I released by Hank Kuhneman. Uh, one that I released recently. Also, uh, remember, there are playlists that I've set up by name of the prophet. So you can go to the playlist and look for the playlist that says Hank Kuhneman. You'll see one of the recent ones that I shared with you on here was called um, something about pay attention to your summer and fall something like that so the lord once again is speaking of the temperature the extreme temperatures the heat and the lord made an uh just amazing connections with the psalms and his word uh speaking of psalm 103 105 107 118 and wow only the lord is so poetic so powerful so beautiful so wise in how he speaks thank you spirit of god and so you might want to cross check it with that. And let me hear, I'm just scanning real fast here. Yes, the Lord is reminding us we are in his season and in this season of the fall, not as in the season of autumn. Now I know myself, you know, I have, um, I have talked about that and I have, uh, what's the right word? Speculated in a healthy way, right? Not in a, not in a way of unbelief or whatnot, as I've talked about before, but many of us have thought about that. And we've thought about the word that Kim Clement had about, or could it be that there shall be a great fall in the fall? Um, and I know several months back, I even talked about what if the Lord was talking about a great fall in the fall. Okay. And what if that second fall was not actually the season of autumn, but rather the Lord was referencing the prophetic season of this fall of the of the corrupt as in this event a great fall in that same fall not even referencing the season itself well, i guess we're gonna have to find out amen but the lord is the one who speaks however he wants i personally am not gonna tell the lord you can't speak like that lord Amen. So let not unbelief arise for those few out there who who listen to such such videos as these and then and they don't even agree, but they listen. You know, what are you doing then? <laughs> anyway, I won't touch that. But oh, well, praise the Lord. All right. So now um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just scanning here. If there's anything else that jumped out for me to speak on. Mm. All right, nope, nothing else is coming to me. So I'm gonna leave it at that, kind of short. Um, I do wanna mention, I noticed that, that there is a uh, Robin Bullock prophetic word. 
a recent one, not the one I released yesterday, which was a short one, but there's a longer one that was released from Israel during, during the, um, the tour with Elijah Streams. So be on the lookout for that word over the next week. And um, yeah, that's that. Amen. The, so much is going on. The 28th, which is this Sunday, is Pentecost. Oh, that God would just su surprise us. Oh, and that we just would just wake up on fire for the Lord or baptized in fire or wake up just healed and delivered and mightily visited, caught up into heaven. I'm constantly praying in tongues, praying in the spirit that the Lord, that I may be more open and more sensitive to him and his voice. Over the last two days, I've been praying more in tongues, off and on, off and on, even in my sleep. And uh, the, the dreams and the visions that I've had have been uh, um, more clearer. There are some things I haven't really shared just yet, um, but that's okay. All I know is that we're, we're, we're stepping into a new month very soon, <coughs> and I expect there to be a lot of falls. And... Honestly, I don't even know why I just said that. The sixth month, June. The six, six is the number of man and the number of sin. Hmm. Watch, watch the enemy embarrass and set himself up and have the rock fall upon him that he wanted to crush others with and have the trap that he set for others snap back and get upon him and grab him Lord, whatever you plan, we, your remnant, say, yes, we agree. Do it. For God, you know best. We know nothing. We are nothing without you. We love you. We bless you. We look to you, author and finisher of our faith. The one who is our salvation and our deliverer. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who reigns supreme and has no match. Oh, hallelujah. <coughs> the Lord bless you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful Memorial Day. Be strong. Continue to pray for one another. Stay built up by praying in tongues. And that is that. I'll see you in the next video. Amen. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a few comments, turn your notification bells on, hit the like button. All right, take care.